I'm Cheryl from Needlepoint for Fun, and we're here to talk about Needlepoint kits. Here's Brenda. We have our coffee, and we are ready to just have a little conversation. So, what do you like about Needlepoint kits, Cheryl? If you were a beginner, what sort of thing would you be looking for? If you, you know, if you hadn't stitched a, a Needlepoint kit before. Well, Brenda, what I would be looking for is probably a larger mesh canvas, and the reason for that is um, they're quite easy to see mm. and for someone like me who actually needs to use glasses when I'm stitching it actually is really nice but also to have a design that's a little bit um, a little bit more what basic. Do I say? basic yeah, yeah basic so this so is a, a good one for kids this is right? a really great kids kit because it has just a, an adorable little design but if you wanted a larger um, project yeah, and a lot of project, design, right. yeah this kind of kit is beautiful it comes with the wool great instructions yeah. and um, it's just nice because you can have a good time stitching it and you don't have to worry about it being correct because all needle points. Well it's easy to see where to place the stitches on, a, on something like this because it's a seven mesh canvas yeah. so there's only seven holes to the inch so it's easy to see what colour goes where and, yeah. and so on. Having said that though, if, if you are a beginner stitcher, it doesn't mean that you have to work a large mesh canvas, does it? Like, no, for example, I might, the very first um, needlepoint kit I ever stitched was one of these Jennifer Pudney kits. And I stitched it because I saw it in a shop and I loved the design so much and I thought, I want to stitch that because they're just so quirky. Like this one's called Bathing Beauties and it's got you know, real women in their bathing suits and there's other and all ones. All lumps and bumps. Yeah. <laughs> this one's called Line Dried and it's got a, a woman strung out on a line like we all feel at the end of the day after a day's work or a day with the family perhaps. And this one's adorable because it's called Home is Where the Heart Is. Yeah. And she has her, she's, Jennifer had based a lot of these on her own situation and she had moved and uh, she was saying you can do anything with your home as long as you put your heart into right. the, uh, the environment. It speaks yeah. to you. Yeah. So yeah, these Jennifer Putney kits are actually small postcard size, six inches by four inches, but they're on 18 mesh and there's no reason why a beginner couldn't do one of these as well. Okay, and the difference between an 18 mesh and a larger mesh is that you're going to use cotton floss. Yeah, right. Whereas a larger mesh you would normally use a tapestry yarn or, or a couple of strands of the cruel yarn. So uh, speaking of tapestry what yarn, these English kits that we have here which are just gorgeous. I love the English kits, don't you? I do too, they're my favourite. Yeah, they're sort of based on historical designs or beautiful florals. Some of them are based on ancient uh, like tiles and textiles, like yeah. these stitchery kits which are some arts and craft movement ones. But what I like about these, they have beautiful 100% wool in them. Um, they're a bit more difficult to stitch just because you, uh, the designs are more intricate. Yeah, it's a bit more detailed. But it's still not. You could still pick one of these up in most cases and having never stitched before, stitch one of these. Yeah. And again, those come with great instructions. Yeah. They come with your needle, so you don't have to buy anything else. You can just pick up that kit and start in. And isn't that what's great about a needlepoint kit? Yep. All yeah. the decisions have been made for you. You don't have to think, oh, what wool do I use? How much do I need? You buy the kit and it's all there. Yeah, you don't you even have to worry started. about what size needle you're going to use. Right. Why then? Why do you think needlepoint kits are so expensive? Because, you know, one of these would run anywhere. They start at $80, but you can get kits up to $140, even mm. $160. Mm. Why are they so expensive, do you think? Well, there's two reasons. One is the printing is not cheap and the printing right. um they do a beautiful job yeah and it's quite a lot more sophisticated than it used to be and right. so you can imagine you know how expensive it is for your printer uh when you're just printing oh, the off computer what? yes well yeah do yeah. i yeah. and um although the process is slightly different their ink is expensive yeah but also in addition to this beautiful uh cotton canvas you have a lot of wool yeah and it's true. wool and it's good quality wool so therefore it's not going to be also each one of these has been hand packed by someone in exactly. england or, yeah. or the states and so and it's not a mass market product they're not making thousands of these they're mm -hmm. tuning out hundreds of them each kitted and put together by hand but the most important thing to remember is how much time do you spend on this and how much pleasure does it give yeah. you and if you think about how much time it takes you to stitch one of these and the pleasure you're getting out of it during the process and the after um, yeah, product yeah. it's it's so it's not expensive no no not no. when you look at our third dollar no it's and if you want to talk about some reasonable kits have i got reasonable kits for you oh i love these these love are called these. stitch and zip kits and these are just fantastic little kits mm -hmm. um they are you can go on brenda explain them because i'm well what's great about these is the <laughs> finishing's already done for you so 
like this one's a Christmas ornament, for example, but there's That's also right. eyeglass cases, cosmetic purses, coin purses, and they're really affordable. Like these are under, all under twenty dollars. And um, the, once again, they're a kit, so the cotton floss is with them. But the beauty of these is that once you're finished stitching, you just zip them up and you've got your finished product. You don't need to send it away for finishing. You don't need to get the sewing machine out to finish it yourself. You may need to block it, but essentially it's all there, right? right in the package for you. You stitch it and you zip it up and it's finished. Thank you for that. I lost, lost my time. <laughs> and they have uh, Kindle cases. Oh, yeah. They have cosmetic purses, eyeglass cases, coin purses, and these absolutely adorable Christmas um, Christmas ornaments, which are brand new. They're just, they're just fun. And again, they're just so reasonable. You can churn those things out and people adore them as gifts. So I think that's all there is to say really about needlepoint kits other mm. than that it's, it's all there, they're great value, and there's designs from contemporary to traditional, yeah. uh, beginner kits. All the way to a much more advanced kit where there's a lot of intricate detail. Yeah. So there's a huge variety. Right, oh, I think that's it. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't want to make me another cup of coffee, would you? I wouldn't mind. Go to it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>